Hello, this is Tomasz Raczyński for Touch Plus and welcome to Sentinel Skin Transition Effect tutorial. And as you can see, uh, I got character that is covered with scales like Sentinels from X-Men movies. And I was wondering to myself if I can do it in at home and I got model. So let's do it. It's not so uh, very hard. So press F6 to bring your preset browser. Okay, go for the environments, studio, outdoor, and now we do what this. Okay. And we need to change one thing. So, in the preview, go to environment and crank up its intensity to 2. Okay, to have brighter one. And select render and change your frame size. And it should be 1024 on 6.81 okay now we've got our scene ready and again use your preset browser and load base sculpt mail and go for the basic and load shadow culture so now select items in item mode select uh, shadow culture and go for the channels and turn turn on, turn on Render and turn off visible. This way it will not clutter your GL report. As you can see our character is casting shadows, everything is in place and we are ready to create Sentinel. So turn off, turn on symmetry. And select those edges that we don't need anymore and press backspace okay and press tab to go to subdivision and we are done so far with this character we need to create new mesh press n let's call it scales scale and activate cube tool and make it small cube like mine so it will be size 20 millimeters, 5 millimeters on Y and 30 millimeters on Z and should segments have on two. Press tab to go to subdivision and press D to subdivide it. Okay, now in polygon mode select top polygons, shift up arrow to expand selection and press M to create material and call it top and give it a gray color and press OK invert selection and then press M again to create bottom material and it will be yellow okay so we do it And we need to improve the uh, shape of this uh, scale uh, just a little bit. So in edges mode, select those two edges on top and move this slightly up. Okay. And now on the bottom, do the same. Okay. And activate move tool to see where its center is. And we are good, so in the item mode, select our hero. Right click on him and choose create item mask from the right click menu. Okay. And go in the shader tree, go to this group and add. I need to drag this window to show you everything. So drag this and go for the special surface generator okay and now we are almost ready to cover him with scales so basically surface generator where scatter scales are 
across his skin. Okay, go to setup tab. And in setup, we will use schematic view to wire things up. So drag scale the schematic. Take, we can add one more thing. Drag this window and go to the particles replicator and take this replicator here. Plug scale to the prototype. Okay. And now we need get surface generator and plug to replicate as a particle source. And now, as you can see, uh, the surface generator is scattering uh, our points across a skin of character and the replicator is using that points to, gener to generate scales. So now we need to play around with uh, settings of surface generator. And let's see in preview how it looks like. So, so far so good. And now we can decrease average spacing of individual points and this way we can get nice coverage. Okay. And let's make them lower. Okay. And I believe it's starting to look quite good. And we can adjust it just a little bit more. And now, as you can see, we got nice coverage of the surface. And we got little problem with the fingers, I guess. I can see it already. So we can adjust minimum spacing. Okay, and this way we will we'll spread those uh, scales across the surface. So now we can just lower this down and we get density multiplier. So this basically will add more points, but only in render time. So it, it is a very nice way of manipulating those scales. As you can see, it is going quite fast. So we got one problem with the fingers because uh, the scales are too big and as you can see they are not looking nice. So we need to find a way to change this. And we can turn off replicator for now and we can paint weight map to drive size of each scale. Okay, and to do that we, we should go to Model tab. In Model tab go to Front View, select Character and go to Vertex Mode and go for the lists. I got one old map created so I will delete this and Create a new map, let's call it scale size and press OK. And now we don't need to transform a factor, but we will you change view to vertex map. And activate weight tool. Press on the screen and then you can add 100% weight to all vertices selected. Turn, make sure the symmetry is turned on and then select polygons of the hand. Okay, so now we get this. Activate linear falloff and drag this falloff like me on the screen. Go for the vertex map, weight tool, and press on the screen to activate it and just add 
10%. So now, as you can see, uh, uh, the tips of the fingers have 10% of um, 100. And this way, those scales will be just 10% of uh, original size. We can do it the same for the foot. Okay. And I believe we can select this finger and we can lower its values also. So activate weight tool and give 10%. Okay. So now we should just blend those values together. And to do that, activate sculpt tool sculpt palette so press f2 and activate the smooth tool and just smooth a little okay so just paint 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 and this way we will have nice transition of the values between those areas and now let's do it for the finger and I believe it is looking quite good. Okay, we can just smooth it a little bit over here. And let's see how this will come up to the replicator. Okay, so in shading, add layer. I can drag this, okay? So, go for the processing, weight map texture, and this will be our map. So, in its properties, make sure that this layer is set vertex map to scale size, and now, in shader tree, change its effect to surface generator size. And now we can turn on replicator and let's zoom in okay that worked quite well so now as you can see the scales on the fingers are much smaller in fact they have uh, up to 10 percent uh, of original size okay so this way it is very easy to predict uh, how big they will be so as you can see we got nice coverage of the foot i think it's even much better than the fingers on the hand so now we can paint live and those uh, weight map and we can press f2 of course to bring our sculpt palette and take this paint tool as you can see now i'm painting live and my replicator is updating on the file. Uh, one thing you need to be aware of when you just uh, step down from the uh, surface, uh, model will regenerate uh, uh, the, those points so it's sometimes uh, jumping around so be aware of that. But as you can see we got very nice control over placing of this scales okay so i believe it is quite good and we can scale down also we got nice tool for that so this way you can play around and have coverage that you are after so i believe it is quite good now let's see in preview oh well, well not much good so we have done something not quite that we wanted and we need to improve that so I don't think we can deal only with one map so we need to uh, make those particles denser in this particular area like uh, fingers and foot and we 
we need to add another vertex map. So I'll go for list, create new map, and this will be density map. Okay, and press okay to create this map. And now we got empty map as you can see when well, I'm polygon mode, so select hunch and activate vertex map tool uh, weight tool and drag on the screen and now add one hundred percent to this part okay and we, as you can see we got nice transition for everything uh, okay and we need to select two points we can select those polygons and invert selection and now activate white tool again and press on the screen and now we should get uh, add 50 percent of overall weight and now we can create this density map uh, in shader tree so add processing weight map texture okay let's check if model took the good vertex map as you can see it, here it is this density map and change its effect to surface particle generator uh, okay uh, sh surface particle generator and this will be generator density and now we've got some nice interesting things going on because we got this much denser uh, on the screen and we can as you can see we can change its opacity to 50 percent okay and we can multiply original uh, surface generator with this map but you can do a lot of stuff uh, with this but we can change we'll get back to opacity 100 and to normal mode and we can see this in preview because we got density multiplier and it's not showing all those values in GL viewport so we got density to 100 and let's see in preview what this baby does so we just change minimum spacing to 3 and we can lower average spacing and this way we will get more coverage of those areas so now we can play around and just to see what we are after okay and we get very very dense coverage now we got very dense scales so let's see in preview okay as you can see now we got fingers almost resolved they are much smaller and still yet they look like scales so i think we are on the good track so now we can lower this density multiplier maybe to 100 maybe to 300 cut this cut this cut this And we need to change this average spacing to 10%. Okay. Go for the setup tab.
And now we need to add some effects to our character. So we can see him better. So now select this line and add particles modifiers and particle modifier. Okay, and it will be linked correctly already. And we need and we need to go for the perspective view to see it. As you can see this particle modifier can change many different aspects of particles. So as you can see we can change scale of all particles at once. And we can go back to 100. Alright, we can change rotation of particles. Let's say 90 degrees. Okay. We can rotate this. And this is what we are after. So now all particles are rotated. And as you can see, we got 90 degrees rotate. And he got all scales raised all over his body. Okay. When we type in 180 degrees, we can see bottom side of scales. And when we type zero, we can see top side. So now this is what we are looking for. Okay. And now we need to add fall off to modulate this particle modifier. So we can do it from here and we can do it from here. So now go to fall off, add linear fall off and we can drag it over here. And we need to unlink this default meshes. That's a default behavior. And we can select this. And we, change, we need to change its parameters, so now it should be working on a Y axis, and we should rotate it, okay, like so, so it will be pointing down. Turn off Use Setup, because uh, the transformations will be ignored, and drag this above our character, okay, so now... And we need to wire this linear fall off to the particle modifier and connect this. Okay, so now uh, the fall off is modulating this particle modifier, and mod particle modifier is a modulating replicator. So now let's add this particle modifier something to do. So let's let him rotate our scales. And now when I move fall off. And <laughs> you cannot see very much and clearly, so I need to be uh, closer. And when I move fall off down, as you can see, the uh, particle modifier is rotating all scales within this special distance from fall off. So now, to have this nice transition effect, and we can see it on the uh, preview window. As you can see, now the scales are flipping uh, only when they are within range of fall off. So now, as you can see, we can animate only one thing, uh, only one channel in fact, uh, because we can just animate Y distance of this fall off and our character will transform. So it is quite easy in Modo, and now we can add some extra things like point lights inside of his chest. Okay, and I can turn volumetrics on, so this way the uh, light beams will split out, uh, spill out from his chest. Okay. And we can see how it is working. Okay, we can lower this 
quite a little bit. When you're doing preview, it's uh, why is it to turn off volumetrics because it, it uh, took uh, some time to render. And see you in the second part of the tutorial.